Welcome back to another Bishno Ballistics video where we send way too much money on brass bullets and powder so you don't have to. Today we are diving into round two of our 25 Creedmoor test. We're going to pit large rifle primer versus small rifle primer brass. We're going to test the absolute favorite Hodgson H4350 versus the new kid on the block, Vitavori N555. And finally, we're going to try some light for caliber bullets in the Barnes LRX just to see if they're going to fly like hot rods or if they're just going to run like a squirrel across the street. So grab your coffee, check in. And let's make some noise. First load is 41.2 grains of N555. I have previously loaded this large rifle primer brass. So what we're doing today is testing 2624, 2636-2635, 2630-2630. 26, 26, 26, 30. So I think I mentioned before, we previously shot this load out of large rifle primer Hornady brass. The average is 26, 30. Our previous average was 26, 43. So a little bit faster out of the, out of the large rifle primer. 26, 34. This load is 41.4. So we're up two tenths of a grain. 26, 65. 2642, 2646. Man, the action's just so smooth. I didn't even realize it picked up around there. Another killer group, 2648. I didn't mention that last group we shot had a 4.8 feet per second standard deviation. Next charge weight is 41.6. That last one was 41.4. Both groups just crazy good. 2657, 26.65, 26.55, 26.75, 26.65. I think I pulled that second to last shot to average 26.62 out of those. All right, last ones, 41.8, 26.87, That one kind of threw low and right. Let me make sure our suppressor's still tight. It was a little loose. I was stacked on top of the other one, even after I tightened the suppressor, so I don't think the issue was the suppressor there. 2700 out of the last one. We are switching over to 4350. Still small rifle primer rest, still Peterson. Um, but we are going to shoot or start with 39 and a half grains here of 4350. 25.95. That pull might have been on me. 2601. 2601. 2604. Average 2601. Dang. 26.27. 2619, 2620, 2610, 2610, 2617, average with a standard deviation of 6.5. So that was 39.1, this is 39.3. 2637, 2628, 2629, 2629, 2625, 2631 average, and we had a standard deviation of 4.8. This is 39 and a half of 43.50. 
Might have pulled that shot a little bit. 2647. 2645. 2634. We're gonna shoot some Barnes LRXs. These are 101 grain bullets. We're expecting about 2,900 feet per second out of this one. Like no kick out of that. 2952. So a little hotter than we expected. 2937. That's closer to what we expected. Yeah, I think I pulled that one. 2932. My expectations of that were pretty spot on. 41 and a half of 4350. Hello? That was my fault. That was a dumb thing that I just did, huh? You see me do that? No, you didn't. 3013 2982 2973 2989 uh 42 of 4350 these do switch to large rifle primer after this which I also loaded 42 grains in 3036 3011 2997 2993 all right now we're moving up to large rifle primer 3000 on the dot 2990 2974 Great group, 29.94. So we actually lost 20 feet per second moving to a large rifle primer brass there. Gained some standard deviation, 42 and a half grains of 43.50. 30.27, 2,000 foot pounds of energy. 3,010. That was a crazy group. Standard deviation of nine and a half, average of 30.14. 43 grains of 4350. 3076, that's screaming. 3047. Our average there was 3059, standard deviation of 12. These are the Hornady 128 grain ELDX bullets. Box is advertising 2850 at the muzzle. So let's see here. 2797. 2840, 2811, 2832. All right, I'll tell you what, that's not a terrible group. Standard deviation of 15, average of 2820. So we're very close to what the box says we're gonna get out of those. So last ones we're gonna do here are the 25 Creedmoor ELDMs. <laughs> These are advertising 2800, 2802, 2795, 2787, 2788, 2783. Average. 2791 and a half with a standard deviation of 6.6. .6. Let's get packed up, let's go home, let's measure some groups, do some analysis, and talk about it. So you can see from the video here, we still have a lot to learn. We found out that 4350 runs a little slower velocities, but in terms of accuracy, it did quite well. We produced some really strong groups out of it, and so I think we might have found a deer hunting load. Next steps out of the 4350 versus N555 are top the charge up a little bit. We found that node with 40 and a half grains in the 6.5 Creed, which if you haven't seen that video, make sure you check that out. So we're gonna top the powder up a little bit more, see if we can get some more speed out of it and drive a little more foot pounds of energy. 25 Creed is a really strong match. It's somewhere in the middle of being being a really good long range caliber like 6.5 Creed more, but it's not a barrel burner like 6 Creed. So a little bit of a trade off there. And then the light for caliber bullets actually did really good. We were screaming above 3000 feet per second with 2000 foot pounds of energy out of that Barnes LRX bullet. So it's an all
all copper. I think we're going to try it out this year just to see what we can get done out of it. But those looked really good as well. So definitely some more tests to come out of it. And then everybody's favorite seeding depth is going to follow that. So if you like what you saw today, hit the like button, subscribe so you know when we put out new videos and we'll catch you in the next one. More fun stuff to come. See ya!